Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to your 8th C++ tutorial. Today we're going to go over something a little bit more basic than uh, some of the past videos, but we've got to cover it. It's going to be working with arithmetic. So guys, I'm just going to show you uh, basically what you can do in C++ when it comes to some basic math. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type out int number. And I'm just going to give you guys a few examples of what we can do here. Uh, we could do, well, we could add two numbers together. So 2 plus 4. And then we can go ahead and see out number. And we'll go ahead and run this. And there you guys see it's 6. I mean, <laughs> woo, what a surprise. This is exciting, huh? Uh, okay, you can obviously do it with positive. Uh, so I'm going to do like 3 minus 4. And it gives you negative 1. Awesome. C++ can do negative numbers. That's pretty cool. Um, next, we can move on to some multiplication. So I'll do 94. Okay, 94 times... Uh, 2016 and what are we gonna get I wonder Wow okay so that's hundred and eighty nine thousand five hundred and four who would have guessed that's pretty cool okay and just so you guys know this is the asterisk sign uh, you press shift 8 to get it definitely don't uh, use X that will not work okay and then the next thing we can do is divide and I'm gonna go ahead and change these into some simpler numbers let's just do in this case 14 and 7 just demonstrate that we can divide using C++ and we get 2 that is the correct answer I believe and I just got to cover one more thing with you guys and that's gonna be what we call modulus okay and we use modulus with the percent sign and whenever we use modulus it's when we're dividing two integers by each other and it's something that doesn't come out as a whole number uh, it comes out with the remainder so if we took 34 for instance divided by 5 uh, we're gonna get a quotient of 6 but we will also have a remainder of 4 so let's go ahead and run that and see what happens okay and there you can see it gave us the remainder so a number four and I don't want to get too in-depth about modulus we'll learn a lot more about it later I just want to remind you use the order of operations hopefully you've taken a basic math class and know what that is PEMDAS uh, please excuse my dear aunt Sally if you don't know what that is you should google it right now so anyways guys uh, thanks for watching the tutorial have a great day